sand, snow, and solitude. The combination makes for a unique classroom for Southern Illinois University Carbondale students taking Recreation 431, a summer course that develops and tests leadership skills in Utah's high desert and outlying regions. The 2009 group included Samantha J. Cook, a graduate student from Manteca, California, and James Weeman of Roscoe, Illinois. They, along with four others, spent late May and early June exploring parts of the San Rafael Swell, a vast, dry sweep of mesas, cliffs, buttes, and canyons, and the craggy LaSalle Mountains, Utah's second tallest range. I went out there kind of on the edge of just what am I going to do with my life, you know, where am I going, what kind of person am I going to, you know, become. And after the trip, I think it just solidified what I want to do and where I'm at and the place in my life that I'm in right now. As leaders in training, students developed the course budget, planned to travel and hiking routes, figured out ration needs, and prepared and taught class sections. The curriculum develops judgment, outdoor living skills and planning, logistics, risk management, leadership, environmental literacy, and teaching ability. Successful completion can lead to the Wilderness Group's Outdoor Leader Certification, a key credential in that field. Students also took turns guiding the expedition and wrote at least daily in the journals. They also experienced nature on a personal level. The desert was something awesome because it was something new, something I hadn't experienced in my life before. I'd, I'd never been in an area where it was hot, you know, supposed to be no life. You know, I was expecting to go out there and see cactuses, gigantic cactuses, but really I didn't see one, but just small ones that had little beautiful flowers in them. Well, definitely coming out of the desert into the mountains, um, it's a little bit of a culture shock because you're coming straight from the desert to something totally different. And um, I remember just seeing so much green. There's so many pine trees and aspen trees and just all just shades of color. And um, in the distance, you could still see the snow on top of the mountain. So it was, even though it wasn't cold on the ground, it was still relatively cold as you went up in elevation. And for both students, another major benefit is the self-confidence they achieved along the way. Just in that level of confidence that I walked away from in the sense that, you know, I uh, climbed the 12,000 foot mountain and I also, you know, I've hiked all over the South Mountains and the San Rafael Swell. Just that, that sense of just knowing that I accomplished something like that is just giving me a, a sense of knowing that anything that I feel like I'm given the task of I can complete.